Good morning, this is Mark Millett coming to you again from Eastern Europe with Morning Manna. And this is Wednesday the 13th and I want you to listen to this word that a brother by the name of Elisha Hoffman made back in. He wrote this song in 1878 and it goes like this. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood of a lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace this hour? Are you washed in the blood of the lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Now that's a great old hymn and it has a lot of meaning to it. These men years ago had victory in their lives. Why? They knew what the blood of Jesus Christ declared and what it means. The Bible tells us in the book of uh, uh, Revelation in chapter 11 and verse 12, I think it is, It says that they overcame Satan by the blood of the Lamb. That was one of the ways they overcame Satan. And you know what? When he knows that you know about the blood and what it has done and what it's doing this very moment, it's alive. It's speaking. That blood is speaking better things than the blood of Abel. And did you know the Bible tells us if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanseth us from all sin. Now, the reason I've, I mentioned a lot about the blood this week is, and last week is because I want to show you that the five places that Jesus Christ shed his blood in his body, each one of those places is it's very, very special. Because number one, I told you about the crown, the crown of thorns, which is a type of the curse. And since he took our curse, not only did he pay for something, but he's given us something. He's given us his blessings. The opposite of being cursed is being blessed. I don't have curses in my life anymore. I refuse them. Somebody says, well, what about grandma? Then she have asthma and mama had asthma and great grandma had asthma. We all got asthma. Well, no, confess that foolishness. If that's a curse, and it's not a blessing, I'm not receiving it. I refuse to receive it because Jesus took my curse, became my curse on the cross, according to Galatians 3.13. That's what the Bible says in Galatians 3.13. Now, the reason I'm saying that is, I talked to you about his stripes on his back, that he took all of our sicknesses and our sins and our shame, and our, he was bruised for our iniquities and all those things upon him, Why? That we may have his righteousness. The Bible says that Jesus Christ became sin for us who knew no sin. See, he paid for our sins, became our sins, that we may be made the righteousness of of God in Christ. Aren't you glad today? Now listen, there's another place that Jesus shed his blood. Not only in his thorns and his head, not only from his back, And by his stripes we are healed, the Bible says. But also, the Bible tells us that on his side, and if you'll read that, it's found in in John chapter 19 and verse 34, when the soldiers came there to break their legs and see that he was dead already, but it said a soldier took a spear and jabbed it up in his side, and out came blood and water. That blood was given from him for you and me to redeem us. I'm redeemed, bought back from the spirit Spirit from the spirit of the devil, amen, from deadness into life, from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of this dear light. May Jesus Christ bless you today as you put your faith in his blood. Amen.